वेलकम बैक लेट्स टॉक अबाउट इंटर सर्विस कम्युनिकेशन विद इन आवर माइक्रो सर्विस यूजिंग डिफरेंट क्लाइंट सो इफ वी लुक एट अवर पिक्चर सो वी इन दिस पिक्चर वी सी दैट पेमेंट इज ट्राइंग टू मेक ए कॉल टू नोटिफिकेशन सर्विस एंड ऑर्डर सर्विस इज ट्राइंग टू मेक ए कॉल टू इन्वेंट्री सर्विस एज्यूम दैट ऑल दीज सर्विस आर बिल्ड इन जावा स्प्रिंग बोर्ड सो वॉट हैपन्स इज फॉर मेकिंग दिस कॉल्स as an http calls they need some kind of java client so to make this http calls what has to be done is we have something called the clients provided by spring boot itself one such client is rest template and similarly there is another client is web client so let's see what is difference between the two clients rest template and web client both can be used for making calls between the services so if i go to the documentation what we have so rest template uses the java servlet api and therefore it is synchronous and blocking in nature what it means is let's say the payment service is making a call to notification service and then the notification service is making a call to send an email or an sms until the time the response is returned from the smtp server which is sending the email back to notification service and notification service has responded back to payment service till that time the payment service is going to wait because if we are using rest template in the payment service to make this call to notification service to send this email then we know that rest template is blocking in nature hence it is going to wait blocking and synchronous in nature hence the payment service is going to wait until the complete response is back so that's a big disadvantage because it is blocking a lot of resources in the cpu like threads so and during that time let's say there are many calls happening to payment service and this call is taking a lot of time then the thread is getting engaged for long time which could have been utilized for serving other request coming to this payment service so in that way using this template to make the service to service call is not a good idea because of its synchronous and blocking nature so spring boot has or spring has provided another alternative which is called a web client and this is asynchronous and non blocking in nature which means the thread will not wait so this service payment service when it will make a call to this notification service it is just going to fire that call if we are using web client here to make this call http call then the payment service is just going to fire the call to notification service and it is going to forget that and that particular thread is now going to be reused to serve another request which is coming to the payment service but now the notification service is calling to the because the request was fired the notification service called the smtp server to send the email the email was sent and notification service once has the response when it is response back to that particular request then the web client will again come into action that particular thread and then going to listen to that response and then of course payment service can continue from there and serve out the client by saying that thank you your an email has been sent something like that so which means that now web client has not kept the thread waiting for a long time and this is much more efficient use of resources on the server for while you make an inter service call hence web so web client is uh, asynchronous and non blocking so you should try to use that as much as possible but it's not like you we cannot use this template we can also use this template so let's look at what else we have 
So there's another way to make service to service call and that is being provided by Netflix Fiend client. So Fiend is a declarative REST client whose purpose is to make REST calls easier. So what it does is we are being provided by a request template and then we just have to write a simple interface in our Java and write some methods on those interface and annotate those methods with certain annotations. And those annotations are very similar to like we create controller endpoints in controller like get mapping, post mapping, put mapping. And in those in that particular interface, we can have many methods, abstract methods in the interface annotated with let's say get mapping, post mapping, put mapping, those kind of things. And provide a particular configuration to this fin client about the URL to which it has to make a call. And that's it. Rest of the part of how to make the call, how to pass the data back from the response into the model, those will be taken by Fiend Client. Hence, Fiend Client provides an HTTP request template by writing a simple interface and inserting some annotations. We can define parameters and format and address the information about the HTTP request. Fiend Client will now pro completely proxy the HTTP request we only need to call it like a normal method. So what we can do next is we can take the new interface that we have declared and written the methods and inject it anywhere in our service like we can do with the rest template or web client and we can call the interface method and pass the values. Then the rest of the things about making a call to that particular remote or uh, dependent service and passing the request and converting the request to the JSON and converting back the JSON to JSON response to the model class all this and then the error handling will be taken care by this Fiend client. So Fiend client is much easier way to write calls or make service to service calls. This service to service calls can be easily written in a very declarative manner using open Fin or Netflix Fin client. One thing to remember Fin client we can use it along with combination of Eureka server and ribbon to support load balancing. So if you remember we had this problem which was solved with the help of service discovery that if payment service was trying to make a call to notification service and if we had hard coded the URL on port number of notification service here and if that in the situation like this notification service has multiple instances running then this request would fail because the new instances will have different ports which will not be known to payment service. So that's where this comes into picture that we had this service discovery using Eureka server. So now when this makes a call using Fin client and if we are using service discovery with Eureka server, this Fin client is going to automatically make sure that it is going to call one of the load balance instances of notification service if it has more than one instances. So we don't have to worry about the exact URL and port. So that's what it says. Fin client can be used in combination with Eureka server and Ribbon. Ribbon is another library for doing load balancing. So using Fin client in combination with these two libraries, Eureka and Ribbon, we can support load balancing. So now we saw three libraries. REST templates, which is synchronous and blocking. Web client, which is non-blocking and asynchronous and Fin client which is much easier to write declarative and can be easily used in the load balanced environment. So there are three options to make calls. Most preferred should be either Fin client or web client depending upon your needs. So try to avoid using this template to make service to service calls in your application when you are running in microservice architecture. So this is it for this video. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.